So recently we were turned on to uh, some mead from a uh, obviously a uh, different mead company, Art of a Mead, which we did Correct. some podcasts on. You can go right. to the archives at uh, either at About Beverages or check out YouTube. Uh, you can look for those uh, podcasts. We tried a couple different meads, loved them. They were Fantas- quite tasty. They yep. were quite delicious. Uh, and it was definitely something we wanted to explore more of. Right. And uh, coincidentally, within the last uh, few weeks, uh, a good friend came up to me and said uh, through a text, so he didn't actually come up to me, but he came no. through a text and he said, <laughs> have you had anything from Superstition Meadery? We're there right now having flights. They're delicious. And I was like, well, no, we haven't. We've only done a little bit with them. And he said, interesting. I'm going to change that. And then he did. He decided to change <clears throat> that. So we've got a uh, very interesting uh, lemonade mead for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is the lemonade in retrograde uh, mead with lemon and hops from Superstition Meadery uh, here in Arizona. And that's the part to me that seems, uh, yeah, amazing. Not only Arizona, uh, Superstition Meadery gets, a, I see them in a lot of different places. They're very, very well renowned, uh, at least locally here. Uh, and then, like, you know, lemonade ties into some other things we were doing on the podcast. If you right. missed any of that, the full show again, YouTube, you can go see the whole thing uh, on some other lemonades that we had. Uh, but the hops, the hops. that's really uh, very interesting to me. I'm wondering how that's gonna gonna tie into this one. I have had uh, when this bottle was given to me, I got to try another mead when I picked this up. Okay, that had been purchased and it was delicious. Okay, so I, I but it wasn't this. one. It was not this not one. This I have not mead. had this okay. one. As you can see, it is unopened. I see that. Full disclosure, okay. unopened, have not had any of this. Oh, I gosh. I, break the, I wonder if I should break the label first. Maybe okay. that's it. That's it, yeah. Uh, right. Hopefully. That's it. All right, that wasn't too bad. I was scared for a second. Protective tape there. Yeah. Uh, 13.5%. Uh, this bottle does uh, run uh, $28 for the bottle. Uh, they do ship, actually, all over the U.S., so if you're watching this in somewhere other than Arizona, they're, most of the states they actually do ship to. Okay. And their shipping is on par with what you'd normally would do for other alcohol things. Cause I, I did look at that as kind of a thing. Like I said, it seems like kind of, it's like a flat rate where it's like, if you order a few more bottles, like if you got in, you know, with a few people like we've done before you order four five, six bottles, then the shipping gets, you know, pretty reasonable, at least least for me, (laughs) at least the shipping flattens out even more. It gets flatter. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. But, uh, but yeah, like I said, I definitely have been enjoying me. Like it's a good kind of after dinner. uh, I think kind of, it's very dessert. Uh, it's usually obviously along the sweet, sweeter side because honey, honey based. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, the I hadn't, I hadn't had really many meads at all uh, before we had those two. Mm-hmm. And at that time, my mead experience was not necessarily good. It wasn't something I liked, but I liked those. That was interesting. Uh, yeah. You had mentioned that. What, I can't remember what you, you just had something and you were just kind of years and years ago. I was just the like, only oh, thing, that's not for me. The only thing I had had previously, there was a mead. Uh, it was around the end of Game of Thrones, around that eighth season. We were watching some of those with uh, with uh, our other brother, uh, and uh, he bought a. It was called Viking Blood Mead. Have you ever oh, seen I, that? Oh no, I remember you you were talking about that. And that one was. I don't think it had. Maybe it had hibiscus in it or something like that. And that one was good. It was definitely more on the sweeter side. but didn't have like a lot of you know character to it, but it was it was good. It was you know it was solid enough. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm definitely interested to see what. What else they've got here? They have definitely a wide variety of a lot of different things. They've got stuff they make uh, that's like a limited release, like that they make with white chocolate. It's called like uh, they do have like it's like strawberry white. Okay, and, strawberry and white. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. they do stuff like that. Right. And like right that, and those are right crazy on. expensive. Those are like eighty dollars for a five hundred mil bottle. Oh wow. Yeah. So like I said, definitely some artisan meads here. We're talking. Okay. Um, color is about what you'd expect. Oh, well, it's probably there. We go. You can probably see it. Looks like a. Oaky Chardonnay, yeah, looks like. Yeah, it's it's not quite clear. At least mine isn't. It's not. Oh yeah, you're right. It's it. I mean, just it's not little, like it's it's not like it's cloudy or anything, but it's just like a little. And I did chill clear. the bottle. Actually, recommend uh, chilling it, okay. like chilling it a little bit. So I, I've had it in the fridge for just a, a little while. Like I didn't want to make it too cold. Um, cause like I said, when we tried those mead last time, I don't think we didn't chill those, did we? No, uh, no. And that sort of mead, at least those flavor profiles to me, sort of, uh, seem like they would be better without a chill where something okay. like this seems like it does probably. I, I think, bit. yeah, I think, and that was kind of why I almost wasn't going to do it. And then like, yeah, when I thought about the lemonade and stuff, I was like, okay, maybe that is what it should, yeah. what it should go for. So, uh, but that is a very angry bee up there. Yeah. I want to stay away from that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's quite interesting. I'm getting more of the hops than I thought I, I, I would. I am too. Yeah, I am. Too. I honestly thought the conversation was going to cycle around like, oh, I'm getting the lemons. Maybe yeah. there's hops. Like, no, that's actually no, some hop. herbal. 
herbal lemon aroma in there. And then yeah. like I said, uh, yeah, definitely the lemon after that as well, which uh, like I said, Citra, hence the name is kind of a citrus aromatic hop in general. Um, That's good. They picked a pick one that would complement that. Then. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't go for, they didn't go for some, some, something really like dank and funky. Yeah, that is no, that's you get the lemon really, and you get the hop. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's a good. very nice unique aroma. That's good. And it doesn't smell like overly sweet either. No. I'm I my interest level just went up. Ooh, yes. I like it. Okay. <laughs> it, All right. <laughs> and your fear level even higher with the picture yeah, of that being again. <laughs> <laughs> that is surprisingly delicious. That is absolutely delicious. <laughs> oh my god, that is that is so good. Wow. Everything we got in the nose, I'm getting that in the taste. Oh my like, god, I'm getting like actually some it's like good, a lemon drop in a way. Yeah, and then there's some hoppiness, and that's you're getting the herbal yeah. hoppiness is in there too. The nice, you know, like I said, the honey base in there, like is nice, like I said that sweetness, but it's not coyly sweet. Like it's actually, yeah. I, I like you know the it's it's that, not as heavy as the, like the previous meads that we had had, which is kind right. of what I'm more familiar with. Right. It says a little bit. It's still got some good viscosity, but it's not quite as heavy. That's actually scary because I think you could drink that pretty easily. Oh yeah, thirteen and a half percent. And, you and that's because that I would not. My initial inclination would not be to sip that like I do a, a glass of wine. And that's what you're talking about wine wine uh, alcohol percentage. There. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, thirteen. 100%. Yeah, thir- thirteen and a half. You know, that's kind of mid range shards, and you know, some whites are going to be at twelve, and some reds are going to be at fourteen or fifteen. So that's kind of mid range for that. But that's it's making my mouth water. Like I want to keep like I yeah no yeah. that's what I'm saying it, <laughs> it, it it would could be potentially I, you don't make drinks with me to do you because I mean would you dilute this with yeah, I'm sure you I'm sure you could I'm sure people make like a mead like fizz or something like that you know if you added yeah you know some uh, seltzer or some sort of water like if you wanted to go with that even more like light and refreshing you totally could the price of this I would not this is a sip for me like I'm yeah not gonna, oh yeah no that's but it's it just makes you want that next sip. I mean, oh it God, yes! It's yes. not like it's like a heavy like like there's an alcohol burn or anything. Right. I mean, there's nothing like yeah. that. It's and it's funny because looking at that color, that color is not appealing to me in that bottle. It looks better to me in the glass for some reason. Huh. And that color reminds me more of the mead that I had years ago that was oh, like okay. way too sweet and I didn't oh, like. Okay. So that's why when I that's why I said my interest level has gone up even more because I, I wanted to try it anyways. But then right. when I got that aroma, I was like, okay, okay. at least from right. the aroma, yeah, yeah. I didn't think we were headed down that, yeah. that dark road for at least dark for me, but that's, yeah, that's really good. This is fantastic. <laughs> that's delicious. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm not, I'm not completely surprised. Like I said, because I have had at least one other thing from them and it was equally as delicious, a uh, slightly different vein. I don't know. I'd have to scroll up to find out which one it was, but it was kind of a more, Similar to some of the Art of Him ones we had, where it was that jammy kind of a little bit heavier note. Like I think it was a blackberry something. It was equally delicious. This is like shows another level of wow, of even greater skill. You know what I mean? Like with yeah. there, it's a different profile, and that the hops actually come through. That's the part that's really blowing my mind in such a fantastic way. The hops coming through with that balance yep. of the lemon and everything else. Uh, yeah, this is very, very good. And it, like, and again, it, uh, if you're not, in, if you're not in Arizona, they do ship shipping as always with alcohol can get expensive. Uh, but it seemed like their shipping was kind of a little bit of a flat rate variety. So maybe you get in together with a few different people and you all get, you know, maybe you get half a dozen bottles or something like that. And then yeah. the shipping gets, uh, at least a little bit, uh, more in, in line with, you know, not being too terrible. But again, that's always up to everybody's budget. I totally get that. Wow. That is <laughs> It's excellent. It's a delicious surprise. It's excellent. There. Normally I say something like, and what is also excellent is our, I don't think our website is as good as this meat. <laughs> so unfortunately I can't say that today. Yeah. Uh, but please go there anyway, about beverages.com. You can uh, go there and check out all the podcasts we've done over the last decade, uh, videos, news articles, recipes, all those things. Uh, if you just want the latest videos, YouTube has got you covered. Uh, links are all down below and I would love it if you would go hit the subscribe button there. You'll get our latest content that we do a couple times a week. It seems like, uh, and, uh, you can, uh, always catch up with us and let us know what you're having as well at the same time uh if you only want audio i've decided i'm okay with that yeah i work hard fine. editing the video but if you only want audio you only that's got time fine. for that i'm fine you got spotify google podcast itunes all those places if there is a podcast app you like using search for about beverages we will probably be there the audio editing kind of comes right along with the video editing. it does it, yeah they kind of go hand yeah, in hand so it, it's, it works it's, it's kind of a freebie <laughs> 
just like our three pillars are th- also freebies. Oh, the three pillars. The three pillars right, are also it's three. Freebie. We have three. We've, re- we've replaced one. We old have completely pillar. replaced one. Yes. We don't even talk about it. It's okay. like Voldemort. It so the three <laughs> should not be named. <laughs> not be named. <laughs> it's back. <laughs> um, so the three pillars are Instagram, TikTok. That's true. Is, which is the one uh, you've been putting out a lot of fun. Little we've been posting up things. some stuff. Yeah, we've been having some fun with that one. And then also Twitter, which is what we use most frequently, though. And it will keep you up to date on what's happening uh, with us when we're about to go live on twitch.tv slash about beverages. Most Thursday evenings around 530 Pacific. Uh, we will let you know when, yeah, when we're, what's going on there. Andrew also lets you know what he's doing throughout the week. The games, the beverages, the people. All of those things, all the of that information, the people that he's doing it with. That's right. He will. All of that information is there. Um, so, yeah, follow us uh, and get the latest about beverages info on Twitter. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it one heck of a delicious meat shot. 